Do you feel like uh, trading is very difficult for you? Maybe you've been putting in a lot of work. You've been putting in so much hours and hours upon hours of hard work into your trading. But you are still not yet getting the results that you want to get from trading. Actually, I'll submit to you that when it comes to trading, it's not necessarily about how hard you work, but it's about having something that works a hundred times better so that the market can eventually work for you instead of you becoming a slave to the market. What do, what do I really mean when I say that discovering or finding something that works a hundred times be better as opposed to hard work when it comes to the financial markets? Well, I can actually recall from the time I started back in 2016 with my whole trading journey. I can even say up until 2021 because that is when I started with fundamentals in 2021. But the period between 2016 and 2021, I worked hard on my trading. I worked hard on my trading every single day. I'd put in countless hours into my trading. I literally cut myself off from the whole world, essentially. I isolated myself. My relationships took a hit. Uh, a lot of things in my life took a hit because I, for me, I strongly believed that Hard work was the answer when it comes to my trading. But then looking back to where I am right now, ever since I started in 2021 using fundamentals, I actually don't work as hard as I used to work back then. And you might say, yeah, it's because you now have experience. Uh, the hours of, that you worked hard in, 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 in from 2016 to 2021, they've actually added up and culminated to experience. But I'd really, I'd really disagree to that. I'd, I'd completely disagree to that. And I'll be honest with you and to say that I actually found something that works a hundred times better. And that is what I've also came to the realization of that people who are highly successful in something or in whatever endeavor that they, that they are currently in or in whatever um, space that they are in, yes, they do put in some effort into what they do but primarily they have something that works a hundred times better something that works more efficiently and this is what I want to share with you in this video that I want to share with you a process that is going to move you from guessing to understanding because a lot of retail traders are guessing in the financial market how do I know that because I was also guessing at some point in my in, in, in my trading journey but then the level and the amount of work that I do now is efficient, but is it is not as much as the work I used to do then. I would spend countless hours back testing, Monday to Monday, weekends, same thing. But today, I still do most of the work, but not as much of the work. And the beauty of it is the fact that with what I'm using now, which works a hundred times better, even the results are a hundred times better. So it's like this sort of uh, polar opposites where the hard work does not bring the results that a hundred times better results. But the efficient work, I'm not going to say it's easy work, but the efficient work brings you a hundred times the, the results. I'm not sure if you're getting what I'm, what, what I'm actually uh, uh, trying to trying to make you see with this illustration and this is what I'm going to share with you in this video so what you have in front of you is a diagram that I did early this year in 2024 I'm just going to link the video on top on the right top corner I'm just going to link that video that I shared when I was doing this essentially this was just to give you a basic diagram or framework or process that is efficient. It works efficiently. Yes, not everything is in this in this diagram, but if you were to follow this and trying to adopt what I've shared here, then it would level up your trading and essentially maybe you would also get to a point where you find yourself not working as hard but working as efficiently, right? The, when I say you're not working as hard, I'm not just saying you're being lazy. No, 
that's not going to cut it. You're not going to get results if you're lazy, right? But when I say you're working efficiently instead of working hard, I mean that you are now using methodologies and principles that work a hundred times better. So instead of you walking, you are going to ride a bicycle. Or instead of you riding a bicycle, you are actually going to ride a private jet, right? You're going to cover the very same distance, but if you're doing it by walking, it's going to take you longer compared to if you're doing it what? By being in a private jet or maybe being in a car. So that is essentially what I'm trying to get to when I'm talking about the fact that I used to work hard in trading, but now I know I no longer work as hard, but I work efficiently. I'm using methods, methodologies and tools that allow me to cover the very same distance, but get greater output with less what? With less effort. No, not, not with less effort, but with less hard work. That is essentially what I'm trying to get to. So this diagram essentially shows you that fundamental analysis is used for, for the primary purpose of establishing the direction. If you want to know why the markets move, fundamental analysis will be your answer. So I, I I've obviously have some key points here. Just watch that video again if you want to understand the whole diagram because this, this, um, this blackboard was actually blank. And I, and I was explaining this. I think it's close to an hour long video. I was explaining this and actually writing everything down and crafting this diagram in real time with you, right? So if you wanna understand that and how everything flows and all the explanations that I gave for each, then you just watch that video again. But what I need you to take away here is the fact that fundamental analysis is used for the direction. Technical analysis is used for what? For the entry. Technical analysis is essentially the art of buying low and selling high. That is how I like to summarize technical analysis. Then fundamentals, you can go a bit deeper because that is what we use for the direction. Why am I sharing uh, Why am I sharing, sharing this with you? It is because of a trade that I actually have uh, running at the moment, right? So it is this silver trade that I have right here. And I'm going to go back to this silver trade because for someone who's looking from the sidelines, might feel that I had a lot of internal conflict in terms of holding this positions because that is what most retail traders experience where they're having difficulty. Should I hold? Should I not hold? Oh, maybe now it's going to turn and reverse and take me out and all of that. But I'll be honest with you. I had minimal experience of any of those emotions or any of those conflicting thoughts. And the reason why I had, because I've been holding this, this trade, this, these positions close to, to, to a year now, because this one was from February, this one is from August. So the one from February, it's close to a year now, right? Uh, that I've been in this position, right? But then, like I said, I, I did not have those conflicting uh, thoughts and emotions of whether I should close now, should I book my profits and all of, yes, I did scale out of my positions, but in terms of those conflicting uh, 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 thoughts, uh, where I'm now micromanaging my trade. No, I did not experience any of that. It's just been an effortless trade to be in. And effortless, maybe effortless might even be an understatement, right? But it has just been an effortless trade to actually be in. And why has that been the reason? Because of this diagram that I explained here. Because I used fundamental analysis for my direction and I only used technical analysis for my entries, right? For my, my timing of my entries and all of that. But for the direction, to gain confidence and conviction in the direction, I used fundamental analysis. So I'm just gonna read this quick article uh, for you, uh, just to drive the, 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 the point across of the significance and importance of fundamentals. So it says, silver price forecast uh, moves above $34 due to rising geopolitical tensions. Uh, then, Silver price, sil silver price receives support from safe haven flows amid rising Middle East tensions. Israel uh, or Israel targeted the offices of Hezbollah's uh, Al Hassan financial institution in southern Beirut. The non-yielding silver gained ground due to easing monetary policies from major central banks. So these are all the things that I had an understanding of coming into 2024, right? Because it's obvious if I've been holding this trade since since February. It wasn't a guess trade. It, it was a trade based on understanding in terms of the theme I was expecting going into 2024, right? What was that theme? A theme of very low 
interest rates where we're gonna see most central banks starting to lower interest rates then the second play or, or role in the theme would be what would be the geopolitical tensions because that is because they they everything broke out when in october 7th 2023 right uh the middle east tensions to be specific but then they started escalating around november december when the houthis also got involved and they started targeting maritime vessels in the red sea and all of that so in my mind that was the theme that i was expecting going into 2024 and that was all based on fundamentals not based on technicals just based on the fundamental theme that i was anticipating so now this article actually explains that in depth right now so silver extends its winning streak for the fifth consecutive day trading around 34 dollars 10 cents during the asian session this upward trend is driven by safe haven demand amid amid uh, escalating geopolitical tensions in the middle east lebanese media report that israel has launched a new series of airstrikes on southern beirut targeting the offices of Hezbollah, uh, financial institution. Furthermore, the U.S. government has initiated an investigation into the unauthorized release of classified documents that outlines is Israel's military preparations for a potential strike on Iran. Furthermore, easing monetary policies from major central banks are bolstering non-yielding silver prices. On Monday, the People's Bank of China reduced the one-year loan prime rate uh, and, and the five year well the one year loan prime rate is essentially loans to consumers and businesses the five year is more like mortgage loans uh, last week the ECB also opted to cut its interest rates by 25 basis point the Bank of Canada is widely anticipated to implement a significant interest rate cut of 50 basis point it is coming at its upcoming monetary policy meeting on Wednesday recent inflation data suggests that both the Bank of England and the RBNZ which is the Reserve Bank of New Zealand may consider potential rate cuts next month additionally the u.s federal reserve is expected to lower interest rates by 50 basis points by the end of 2024 regarding the u.s elections markets appear optimistic about republican nominee donald trump winning the 2024 presidential election trump's fiscal and trade policies are viewed as inflationary and favorable for the u.s dollar which could negatively impact silver demand a stronger u.s dollar make silver more expensive for buyers using foreign currency potentially dampening their purchasing power that is obviously if trump actually wins so those are some risks around the u.s elections but if you're looking at the theme based on everything else if law if, if if the fed is lowering interest rates then it makes it cheaper to do what to buy silver because silver is denominated in dollars right so all of those things were the thing were, were, were the thoughts that were actually going in my mind or going through my mind getting into 2024 and that is why i say it has been so effortless to hold this silver position or these positions on silver because i don't have any conflicting ideas my beliefs about trading and the themes that i was that i had anticipated coming into 2024 are con have been congruent with my actions but how have i been able to actually remain in this position effortlessly and I would say calm to a certain extent because I've just been following fundamentals. And as long as fundamentals are still pointing in the same direction, I still endorsing or supporting the theme that I was ex anticipating coming into 2024, then there's really no reason for me to now switch up gears. And that is the beauty of using this diagram. That is the beauty of having something that works 100 times more efficiently or 100 times better than than just pure hard work right and this is what i'm talking about fundamental analysis works 100 times better especially if you have the right proper outline the right proper process to follow when it comes to fundamental analysis then it can really transform your trading it can really take your trading to the ultimate level and that is without any exaggeration but i'm talking from personal experience i'm talking from personal experience like i said the amount of work that I do today is nothing compared to the work that I used to put or, or the amount of hours that I used to put in from 2016 up until 2021. Yes, I still work. I still I still work hard. It's not that I'm just lazing around. I still work hard. But now, since I'm no longer trying to walk, but I'm now use, in a private jet, then I'm able to use less effort but then achieve a greater output 
right? That is that is the power of fundamentals. That is the power of understanding fundamentals. And then when you dive deeper into fundamentals, you then go into the crooks of understanding fundamental uh, uh, central bank divergence uh, and all of those factors, understanding the sentiment, market sentiment, uh, risk sentiment, and all of those things. But if you want to know more about this diagram, like I said, watch the video that I suggested earlier where I actually explained this diagram from the beginning till the end right so what is the key takeaway from you right what is the key takeaway for you for you from this video it is that stop looking for the hard ways if you feel that your trading is complicated your trading is difficult right now look for an efficient way that works a hundred times better than what you've been doing it is there it is out there I know you might think that it is not out there, that you need to struggle uh, in your trading. No, you don't. Because I also know, because at some point I felt that that is how it needs to be. I need to struggle at this, right? If the reward is greater, then I need to go through the struggle. I need, no, it's not really necessary. There are better, there are efficient ways of approaching the financial markets, right? There are ways that work more effectively than what you are currently doing right now especially if you're not seeing results from your trading and when i say results from your trading it is up for it, it is up to you to decide what that may look like right but if you're not seeing results from your trading it is most probably because what you are currently using is not effective and it is also not efficient right so if you found value from this video uh please share the video with someone who you feel might benefit from it and also just let me know in the comments how you are actually going to start implementing fundamentals into your process, into your trading process, so that it enables you to actually operate at a higher efficient level in your trading, but also get what? A greater output in terms of the results that you'll start experiencing from your trading. So let me know as well in the comments how you're actually going to be implementing fundamental analysis into your whole process. And if you found value from the video, like the video, uh, and once again share the video and if you have not yet subscribed do subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video